Hey guys, I have a serious problem and if you're anything like me storage wise, uh, you probably need too. So I want you to go to your Tesla, whether it be a Model 3, Model Y, I want you to open your sub trunk, remove the sub trunk cover, and let's see what we got down there. And yeah, this is what mine looks like right now. It's like, it's got a lot of stuff in here. So it's, it's just, it's pretty bad. It's all over. So we got, we got this, we got this. Oh my gosh, it just it just keeps going. We have so much stuff and I moved a lot of it to the front. So I got a lot of stuff down here and it's hard to get to anything, right? If you experienced this before, it's hard to like grab something because, oh shoot, where did it go? Did it go to the bottom? Oh man, all what I need to get to is under here. Well, no more. So I found these on Amazon, super sick. They're like these divider things and they have like a little net on each side. Check that out, so net here. And then that on this side. And it's just held in by Velcro and friction. I don't know. Kind of skeptical. So what do you do when you're skeptical? You kind of just jump right into it, right? And so that's what I did. And I just, I bought, I bought these. And I'm going to see if they work well in the sub trunk. So like I said, it has a net on both sides. And it has Velcro like that. So I'm assuming all it's going to do is slot in the sub trunk. And what's cool about this is it can go pretty much anywhere, right? Because it just slots in. So we should be able to move these around. As you can see, I have a huge battery on this side. So I'm probably going to want one. One right here and then another one right here so i'll divide them into two small storage spaces and take everything out i'm going to put these in and i'm going to put all my stuff back in and we'll see what it looks like all right guys so i got them in as you know my battery is on this side so can't really put anything over here so that's going to be its own separate unit just chilling over there but i have these in and you can only kind of put them in one way if you buy them and you try to slot it in you'll see what i mean but yeah, it only goes in one way. It's not like reversible or anything. And I found that it, for me, at least, the Velcro part is on this side. And that's pretty much it. Now, as you can see on this one, it hugs the edge really snug. And I think these are more meant for the side because on the sides, there's like a little lip right here where it comes out and then it's deeper on the inside. So towards the middle, it's not sticking all the way right here, but honestly, it's pretty fine, especially if you like move it back here like this because it's being held in firmly on that side and on the bottom part. The bottom part is the most important one, to be honest. If it didn't have this one, it would probably be really bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one holds in pretty sturdy. You can see I'm moving it around. It's all good. This one I'm moving around. So yeah, pretty much it in. Like I said, you can move them around the sub trunk. This is really cool. So now I'm gonna load everything in that I had here. This is so much better. So I got my cleaning supplies over here. I'm actually excited to show you my sub trunk. Previous videos, I'm always like, don't look on my sub trunk. Lift up your sub trunk cover. Don't, don't look in there. But cleaning supplies right here. Got some hazard vests. We got some stuff's tucked in here. We got sunscreen, we got a few other things, tow hitch. Um, we got remote controllers for the center when we're gaming. We have some extra wire, chargers. We have air pump, first aid kit. We have some papers I had just down here. We have my little film thing. We have our little cyber truck and a few other things. So honestly, this is amazing. I really love this. I would totally recommend these for pretty much anybody. I think these work for everyone. I'll have a link in the description below where you can get them. Pretty sure you'll love them as much as I do.